So hi everybody. Do you hear me? Good. <laughs> hi. So uh, good to good that you found the time and logged in to see our webinar. Uh, I am Doris. I work as an international marketing uh, specialist at Tallinn University. Uh, first of all, uh, we will tell you about Estonia overall. Uh, then you have uh, the time to ask questions. and uh, My colleague Renat will answer them online, live. Uh, then I will talk about uh, in more detail about Tallinn University, about our English-based programs uh, and the admission procedure. Uh, and last but not least, one of our students uh, will take, take the floor and tell you about uh, his experience. Uh, feel free to ask the questions in the chat window. Uh, my colleagues will answer the questions under the name Tallinn University 1 and 2. And also Jana Thompson, who is my colleague, will answer the questions also. So go ahead and ask the questions if something comes up to your mind. But and now I will uh, give the floor to my colleague, Caroline Maggi, who is also working as an international marketing specialist here at Tallinn University, and she will tell you more about Estonia. Hello, everyone. Um, as Tori said, my name is uh, Caroline, uh, and I work here at Tallinn University as an international marketing specialist. And I'm happy to introduce you to a country which is quite unique and uh, I'm sure positively surprising when it comes to our culture, nature and people. Uh, first of all, those who don't know uh, where exactly Estonia is located, uh, then here on the slide is a big scale map. As you can see, Estonia is situated in northern, northeastern of Europe, uh, being the northmost of the three Baltic states. Uh, it is bordered by Russia on the east. Um, and Latvia from the south. Uh, from the north, we have Finland as our across the sea neighbor uh, and Tallinn the capital of Estonia is only about uh, 84 kilometers from Helsinki across the Gulf of Finland. Um, Sweden is the Estonia's nearest western neighbor across the Baltic Sea. Uh, so Estonia is uh, situated between Eastern and Western Europe on the map. And that's why quite often being referred as being located at the crossroad of uh, West and East. Uh, a, a country overview. Uh, Estonia is considered a very small country. Um, uh, however, Estonia is in fact larger, for example, as Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark. Uh, what makes uh, things interesting is the fact that Estonia is one of the least dense countries in the world. Uh, we have a population around 1.3 million uh, and with a territory about the size of Denmark. Um, but uh, but Denmark has, for example, 5.6 million people. Uh, so there is a lot of space here in Estonia. Uh, and for example, uh, half of Estonia's territory is covered by the forest and, and woodland. And that's why Estonia is a dreamland for uh, dream nature level lovers. Uh, there have been established uh, national parks and hundreds of other uh, preserves to maintain our beautiful nature. Uh, and fun fact, also Estonia, for example, is also considered one of the world's best bird watching destinations. Uh, at the same time, <laughs> Estonia is one of the most dynamic and innovative countries uh, among the member states of the European Union. Um, uh, may you, you may be heard, have been heard that Skype was uh, founded uh, in Estonia in 2003. Uh, also, for example, uh, successful startup uh, TransferWise was founded in Estonia as well. And as, according to some surveys, Estonia produces more startups than any other country in Europe. And also, uh, it takes uh, 
the reason behind might be that the fact that it takes only about 20 minutes to uh, found your own company online. Uh, we are part of European Union, uh, Schengen area and NATO, and since uh, 2011, uh, the currency in Estonia is uh, Euro. Uh, a few words about Estonian culture. Um, uh, situated in uh, between Eastern and Western Europe on the map, Estonia is also crossing point in terms of culture. One can find elements uh, in Estonia originating from the East as well from the, from the West. But uh, one might say that Estonians mostly consider them uh, themselves as Nordic people and conceptually bound to Scandinavia. Uh, also, Estonian official language, Estonian language, belongs to the Finno Greek language family, uh, which is similar to Esto uh, Finnish and Hungarian. And it's spoken uh, approximately uh, ab uh, about 1.1 million people. Uh, along, maybe interesting fact about Estonian language is also that uh, along with Icelandic, Estonia is a at present one of the smallest languages in the world that fulfills all the functions, functions necessary for an independent state to perform linguistically, also higher education. Uh, Estonia, uh, when it comes to higher education, then uh, Estonia has a long tradition of providing quality education. Most of the programs, of course, are in Estonia, but, uh, but uh, more and more programs are provided for international students uh, in English. Uh, today we, hi we have high quality and international education and research uh, environment which uh, makes Estonia an attractive place for people looking to work and, and study uh, here. Uh, uh, Estonia is a digital society so uh, all the people who uh, live here the first thing they notice is uh, that everything is done online uh, in just 20 years, Estonia has become one of the most uh, wired and technologi uh, technologically advanced countries in the world. Um, uh, sometimes the internet access ha has been declared here as a human right, uh, because maybe also some of the fastest uh, web connection speeds in the world are located here and it are available to all the across the country and to all the inhabitants of Estonia. And truly, the, the public services, the dig digital public services, are uh, part are part of our daily lives. Uh, and sometimes the country Estonia is also called E Estonia, referring to our uh, E identity, as we prefer to do everything, almost everything online. Uh, for example, tax and customs, um, E health, E school. E banking, e pension accounts, e residency, and, and so on. Um, also, uh, in the area of higher education, then, then many programs um, in Estonia are, are oriented to providing higher education in the IT technology. So, study in so study IT in Estonia is uh, good in many aspects. Uh, firstly, students are living and really experiencing the, the surrounding of the e-society. Uh, and the secondly, of course, um, students can have hand-on experience already during the studies, uh, such as launch their own IT companies and, and startups. Uh, that's, uh, that's about uh, the digital society in Estonia. Uh, now more practical information. Um, for how to move to Estonia. Uh, there are several possibilities to enter Estonia for the purpose of studying. Uh, the option usually depends on uh, students' country of origin and the level and duration of the studies. Uh, I'm here focusing more on the degree studies, which is uh, three, two, three or more years long. Firstly, there are uh, the citizens of the member states of the European Union. Uh, in order to obtain right to the temporary residence, uh, these citizens who stay in Estonia longer than three months must register themselves as citizens of Estonia, uh, or in, for example in Tallinn. 
uh, with three months from the date of uh, entering Estonia. And, that, and after that, they can apply for the Estonian identity card. This is for the citizens of the European Union. Uh, when it comes to non-EU citizens, then they are required to apply for a residence permit for a study if they are going to stay in Estonia for more than three months, which is the case in, in degree studies. Um, the citizens of the selected country, uh, for example, Argentina, Australia, Israel, Japan, uh, the full list is on the uh, Estonia Police and Border Guard uh, uh, website. Uh, the, these uh, citizens of these selected countries can arrive in Estonia without a visa and apply for their residence permit here in Estonia. Uh, students coming from other countries, which are not in this list, must usually submit a residence permit application in the nearest Estonian embassy. Uh, I really suggest you to uh, look for more information on the Estonian Police and Border Guard, uh, border guard website and also, also Ministry of Foreign Affairs website, where are listed all the embassies uh, which uh, Estonia has around the world. Uh, last but not least, uh, I'm sure you're interested uh, also uh, about the working conditions uh, when you come here to, to study. Um, international students who have a residence permit may work in Estonia uh, as long as their work uh, does not interfere with their studies. So yes, during your studies you can work. In addition, after graduating, uh, international students may stay in Estonia for six months in order to look for a job in Estonia. So uh, basically, we are Estonian government is welcoming new, new uh, students and also we are very happy if the students are deciding to stay here in Estonia to work. Uh, depending on the program, uh, some institutes of, are offering internship possibilities for students and also there is a um, uh, uh, career and counseling center in Tallinn universities, but also in other universities in Estonia. And they provide counseling services for, for students to assist in dealing with, for example, uh, look, to look for a job and other vocational uh, issues. Um, I really suggest you to look uh, the site uh, uh, workinestonia.com. Uh, where they can, uh, where they are mediating job offers for international students as well. And last but not least, here are some uh, very uh, good links for you to browse if you're interested in coming to Estonia, whether you are interested in research, study, uh, work in Estonia, or you just uh, want to know more about our, our country. Uh, that's it from my side. Thank you so much for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask them. So hi, once again, from my side. So I will continue uh, telling you more about Tallinn University. Uh, Tallinn University is a rather young university. Uh, Tallinn University was established in 2005. So we have been present uh, only for uh, 10 years as the Tallinn University. Uh, we are the third biggest public university in Estonia. Uh, we have approximately 9,000 students studying on our MA, BA and uh, PhD level, among whom uh, 900 are uh, international students. We have around 1,200 staff members here at Tallinn University, uh, among whom 9.4% are uh, foreign academics, which is one of the highest percentages uh, of foreign <coughs> academics in Estonian universities. So our multicultural experience is also guaranteed by the professors too. Uh, we have around 250 partner universities, uh, which means when you come to study here at Tallinn University and you want to go and study a semester or a year abroad, you have a variety of universities to choose among. And now we have eight academic units here at Tallinn University. Uh, we believe uh, that we have a leading role in promoting and developing intelligent lifestyle in Estonia. So we have directed our resources and activities into five focus fields. Uh, first is educational innovation, 
then cultural competences, society and open governance, uh, digital and media culture, and healthy and sustainable lifestyle. Uh, here at Tallinn University, we believe in the individual approach to students. By that, I mean our classes are rather small. Uh, there are approximately 30 up to 60 people in one class. So we always have the possibility to discuss different matters in groups and with your professor. We also believe in freedom of choice. By that, I mean uh, you, have, you have to choose uh, quite a lot of uh, elective courses while you study at Tallinn University. So for example, if you come here and uh, study media, but you are really into sports, you have the possibility to take courses like volleyball course, a basketball course, or even aerobics course. Uh, our campus uh, has a really favorable location. Uh, it is located right in the heart of the city center. So our old town, which belongs to the UNESCO World Heritage, is only 10 minutes walk away. Uh, the harbor is only five minutes walk away. Also the bus station and airport are close by. Uh, our facilities include uh, modern study rooms, library, modern classroom, class, classrooms, computer classes, uh, and leisure areas. And we even have our own cinema hall where students can uh, watch films for free. So, about our programs. Uh, I'm going to tell you about our English-based programs. Altogether, at Tallinn University, we have uh, more than 130 programs. Uh, but now I'm going to concentrate uh, only a few of them. Uh, on bachelor's level, the studies here in Estonia last for three years. And on bachelor's level, we have uh, four uh, English-based programs. First of all, we have a media program. Uh, where they uh, study how to create audiovisual media content, how to create uh, clips, uh, music videos, uh, commercials, even short documentaries. So they study every occupation that uh, you need in order to create audiovisual media content, how to produce, how to edit, how to script write, and so on. Then we have cross media and film and television. Uh, it is made up of different modules as IT, business, audiovisual media, and this cross media itself. Cross media is basically using different uh, mediums in order to introduce your content or your product. Uh, we also have law. Law is taught here in Tallinn, but also in Helsinki. Uh, so we have facilities in Helsinki also. Here in Tallinn, the law is taught that there, there are daytime studies, which means you have to be present day by day basis. In Helsinki, uh, the studies are cycle studies. So the studies take place in every second week. Uh, on law, they concentrate on international law and European law. And uh, another program we have in English is liberal arts in social sciences. The idea behind liberal arts is that you can combine your own studies from different modules. So there are a lot of modules to choose among and you have to choose those you like the best and you can concentrate on those modules. Uh, I see here is a question about the tuition fee. I'm going to tell the, the tuition fees about bachelor programs right away. Uh, the tuition fee for media studies is 2000 euros per semester, so half a year. Uh, in cross media, the uh, tuition is 1,750 euros. In law, it's 1,976 euros. And in liberal arts, it's 1,500 euros per semester. So, Ainti is studying law in Helsinki, and he says about his studies that studying law in Helsinki has been an immensely rewarding experience. The students and faculty have provided an atmosphere where you strive to learn more. So, our master's programs in English. Uh, we offer anthropology uh, and comparative literature and cultural semiotics. We also have communication management on master's level where the students can uh, specialize to political communication or intercultural communication. Then we have digital learning games. Uh, digital library learning, 
we have film arts. So film arts uh, is in cooperation with two other big film schools in Europe. Then we have human computer interaction, where the students study how to create user friendly technology programs. Uh, then we have international business law, uh, which we also teach here in Tallinn and in Helsinki, as with uh, bachelor studies on uh, also the international business law in Tallinn. Uh, is taught as daytime studies and in Helsinki as cycle studies. And also on master's level, we offer international relations. So Irina uh, from Russia is studying comparative literature and cultural semiotics here. She said that at Tallinn University, you, you have all possibilities for personal development, from studies to traveling, sports and art. The education, educative process is built according to the needs and requirements of the students. We also have PhD programs. Uh, the PhD programs have no tuition fee. And I'm going to uh, go over which kind of programs we have. We have analytical biochemistry, demography, ecology, educational sciences, government and politics, history, information society technologies, linguistics, physics, psychology, social work, sociology and studies of cultures. Mustafa is uh, studying PhD here and he says that almost every day I encounter something that makes me think I made a great decision by choosing to study at Tal University. Studying at Tal University is academically fulfilling, liberating and relaxing. So, as I already said, we have a lot of partner universities. And uh, one, one example, if you come to study here, uh, is to go abroad with Erasmus program. Uh, we have more than 400 Erasmus mobility agreements uh, with different universities all over the Europe. Uh, so if you come and study here, you, you can go and study abroad for a semester or a year and gain some more international experience from other countries as well. Barish first came here as an Erasmus student and now he is a media student. Uh, and he says that Erasmus made me an international person. I knew and felt that my life has changed. After Erasmus, there was only one thing in my mind, coming back to Estonia. It was not just Erasmus, but also Estonia that touched my heart. And here I am feeling like I'm back at home. So see what kind of good option Erasmus is also. Uh, a lot of applicants ask uh, whether we have uh, study allowances or scholarships. Uh, we have study allowances for students who have been already admitted to Tal University. Uh, one option uh, is to apply for a needs-based study allowance for uh, students from financially disadvantaged backgrounds. Uh, you, all, you have to apply once and uh, then throughout the studies you will get the allowance. So throughout the bachelor studies, then three years, throughout the master studies, then two years. And the allowance is 75 up to 220 euros per month. There's also a possibility to apply as for a study allowance based on your study results. When you have a good average grade, for example, uh, then there is a great possibility you will get a scholarship. The scholarship is 100 euros per month. But for that scholarship, you need to apply each semester once again. So uh, about the admission requirements. First of all, uh, for the film arts program on master's level, the deadline for application is 10th of January 2016. And for film arts program, you need to apply through a website that is written here. It's kinoeyes.com. EU. This only goes for the film arts program. Uh, and now about all the other programs, you need to fill in the online application form um, uh, by requested deadline starting from 4th of January 2016. So starting from 4th of January, you can start applying for all the other programs we have on bachelor's, master's and PhD levels. 
The deadline for non-EU students is fifteenth uh, of April. So by that by that day, you need to have done all your uh, admission process and sent us all required documents. Uh, for students from EU, but also from Russia, Turkey, Ukraine, and Georgia, the deadline uh, is first of June two thousand and sixteen. And for Finnish uh, citizens uh, who want to come and uh, study on bachelor's level, the deadline is first of August two thousand and sixteen. So the first step, what you need to do is that you have to go to estonia.dreamapply.com and start uh, filling in the online application form. After you have filled, uh, filled in the online application form, you need to pay the application fee, which is 80 euros. Uh, after that, you need to send to us your online application cover from DreamApply. It has to be printed and signed. If you want to come and study on BA level, you need to send to us uh, your copy of a secondary education certificate and transcript of records. If you want to come to study on master's level, then bachelor's degree certificate and transcript of records. Uh, and the translation is uh, requested of the document when the documents are not in English, so they have to be in English. And both of the copies uh, of the certificates and transcript of records uh, need to be attested by a notary. Then you need to prove your English. Uh, one option is to prove your English with the most well-known tests as, for example, YELTS and TOEFL. But uh, for EU students, there is another possibility. You can come and carry out a language test here at Tally University, which costs only 40 euros. So much cheaper option than uh, to to do YELTS or TOEFL, for example. After you have uh, proven your English, uh, you need to upload to the online application system a copy of the identification page of your passport and the receipt that you have paid the application fee, which is 80 euros. Then there may be some country specific requirements uh, that I suggest you to go and look up from our web page. And after you have done all that, you need to pass the program specific requirements. Uh, each program has their own uh, requirements. Usually the requirements are a motivational letter and an interview. And for that, you don't need to come to Estonia. Interview can be done uh, via Skype. So a few words uh, about uh, our student life here in Tallinn. We have our own student union uh, under which there are different uh, units. Uh, you always have the possibility to, to take part of the activities of those organizations. For example, we have international club that organizes events for international students. We have ASN Thailand for exchange students. We have our own student TV that broadcasts the, new, broadcasts the news of uh, what have happened throughout the week. We have our own culture club, uh, sports clubs, a photo club. Other cultural collectives, uh, like a symphony orchestra, for example, we even have our own student cafe and the child care. So about the accommodation, uh, Italian University has its own dormitory that's uh, just around the corner, so two minutes uh, walk, walk distance, basically. But if you want to have a place in a dorm, you have to uh, act rather fast to get the place there. Uh, in Thailand University dormitory, we have uh, double rooms for the price of 170.50 uh, euros per month. And here you can see the photos of Thailand University dormitory. There's also a cheap for S dormitory a bit further away that has double and single rooms for the price of 180 up, up to 360 euros. There's also Deco dormitory that is also a bit further away. There are double rooms for the price of 150 euros and single rooms for the price of 300 euros. Of course, you always have the possibility to rent an apartment. This is what our students usually do. They rent an apartment with their course mates or with their friends. And prices of the apartments vary. Uh, there is a possibility to get an apartment for 300 euros per month, 
but the prices can uh, go up to thousands of euros. So it depends what kind of possibilities you have. If you want to read more about uh, the accommodation, you can go to tlu.be slash housing and read more there. So the approximate cost of living here in Tallinn. Uh, approximately, you can handle with 300 up to uh, 500 euros per month. And this does not include the accommodation. Here are some of the examples. For example, a student meal here at the university costs three up to seven euros. Usually it's four euros is the average. Uh, public transportation, for example, is uh, free of charge in Tallinn for the residents of Tallinn. Theater tickets are about uh, 12 to 18 euros. Concert tickets, 8 to 13. Nightclub tickets, 5 to 15. Movie tickets, 4 to 8 euros. And sports club, 30 to 60 euros. But you also have the possibility uh, to work out here in the university for free. So maybe no need even for a private sports club. So what else we have uh, besides our uh, degree programs is uh, Italian summer and winter school. Uh, those are three week long courses, one during summer, uh, another one during the winter time. Uh, the summer school is in July from 11th to 31st of July. And the winter school is happening well in a month's time in January from 4th to 22nd of January. You still have time to uh, to fill in the registration form for the winter school at winterschool.tlu.ee. Uh, during the summer school, we have more courses, language courses, IT courses, film courses, usually 23 different courses you can choose among. During the winter school, we have much less courses, usually four or five. But during the summer school, we have about 350 participants all over the world. During winter school, much less, uh, 50 or 60, since there are less courses. Additionally to, to the courses, we offer also a cultural program for the participants. So where the participants go, can go to the museums and field trips outside of Tallinn. If you would like to know more about summer school, then go to summerschool.plu.pe. So a few uh, photos of our uh, campus. As I said, our campus is uh, now quite modern. Uh, the newest buildings uh, were built in 2012, and all, basically now all the institutes are located here in the main campus. Uh, all the buildings have Latin names, so our students could recognize in which building they have to go. Uh, and also because the Latin names represent certain traditions uh, for the university. Uh, in Terra building, there are uh, in all the central services like uh, marketing and communication office and academic affairs office. Uh, in Asta building, there are different laboratories and classrooms. Uh, Silva building is known as the language building. There are also different classrooms, so different courses take place there. Uh, Nova houses Baltic Film, Media, Arts and Communication School. Uh, in Nova building, there's the cinema hall I talked. There are, there's television studio, film studio, so everything necessary for uh, filmmaking. Uh, in Ursa building, uh, there are uh, people who do fine arts. And in Mara, there are also uh, different classrooms and seminar rooms where, where the classes take place. Here are a few photos of the campus. And in case uh, you want to know uh, more about what our students think about uh, living in, uh, in Tallinn and studying at Tallinn University, you can always uh, contact our, our student ambassadors. If you go to tlu.de slash ambassadors, you can find their contacts there. You can write them directly and ask what they think. But now I'm going to give the floor to one of our student ambassadors from the United States who will tell you more about uh, his experience. So Sam will come here and tell more about what he thinks about Tal University. Hello, I am Sam Lawrence and I am from the US, like Doris said. And I suppose uh, you're probably curious, um, for example, why did someone from the US come to Estonia? And 
essentially for me, it's um, the first time I came was uh, 2010 and I just fell in love. It was for like a exchange program, not with a woman, just uh, the country. And um, it was, it was great. I, um, I loved the culture and I made a lot of friends and I wanted to come back. It just seemed like the natural thing to do. And I, I think also that um, there's a stereotype that Estonians or maybe uh, Nordic people in general are uh, shy or cold, reserved. And maybe in public, they might seem that way if you don't really know how to talk to them. But it's um, it's all about getting to know them personally and uh, in an environment they're comfortable with. So I don't think that stereotype's uh, really true. Um, but next, uh, I guess I should tell you my program, which is uh, Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. I'm a uh, degree student, so I'll be here for uh, two years or so, because I've already studied at my old university some. But uh, essentially, the program, uh, like Doris said, is, is very open. There's, um, there's a lot of freedom and uh, flexibility in uh, how to choose which, uh, which modules you do. Um, currently, I'm doing European Studies and international relations as submodules, and I'm uh, I'm really happy with them. They're they're great courses, and the professors are very accessible. They um, they all have TLU um, internet addresses, email addresses, which they monitor uh, fairly regularly. So I've never had any problems uh, meeting with them or uh, talking with them, and so they're the faculty is really accessible. Um, so that's a definite plus, I think. And um, another thing, I guess, uh, that you might be wondering is uh, my experience in uh, the university as a whole and perhaps in Holland uh, and Estonia specifically. Um, I uh, live up in an apartment. Uh, I think it's the most common, like, like Doris said. And I have a studio apartment uh, for about 350 euros a month. With utilities and it's it's you know it's very nice it's it's quite close to the school it's like a five or ten minute walk and um, I I've never really had a, a problem getting around and uh, I think often one thing that's very appealing about Estonia is that so many people do know English which is such a widely spoken language um, and so you never really have a problem asking people if you need help with directions or if you're at the restaurant ordering food, there's usually English menus. If you're at the store buying groceries, usually the store clerks know exactly what you're talking about. So um, it's very friendly to people who maybe aren't familiar with Estonian being such a small language. Um, so I think that's a definite, a definite plus that makes it um, really accessible to, uh, to international students. Um, but like just as, as a part of the university, I think um, that also the, the cost of living is fairly nominal and the tuition is honestly like an amazing rate <laughs> because uh, like in the US, I had to pay like $15,000 a semester and it's crazy. And I would say the quality of education between my old school and this school are, are exactly the same. Like there's not really any huge difference except I get to be abroad and have an experience that most Americans don't get. So um, also, of course, it's accredited and the degrees are recognized and respected everywhere. So there's, you know, if you want a new experience and uh, you want to meet interesting people and have people say, where's Estonia? What are you talking about? <laughs> then I think uh, you'll, you'll be a very interesting person to talk to and have an experience that no one else has really had. Um, and, and just like a, uh, in closing, I guess I'll talk about um, what I might give as tips to people who are applying or are thinking about applying. Um, the residency application process for the permit to study is, um, it sounds kind of difficult, like all the different steps you need to do, but the Border Police's website is very helpful and emailing them, they, they know English very well and they respond very quickly and I didn't really have any problems with and even when um, you have to go visit the Estonian embassy in your country, it's possible because for me in the U.S., I I'm come from Texas. And so, like, from Texas to um, the, uh, the embassy 
in Washington is, you know, thousands of kilometers. So it's not really, it wasn't easy for me to do that, but there's the option of after you've already come here, then you can uh, apply at the border police's, uh, like a nearby office. So that's an option. And uh, like for me, it uh, made a lot of sense. Perhaps if your country is smaller, it's not as important. Um, and then another thing I guess I would mention is uh, the application process itself on the Dreamify website. Um, this sounds like there's a lot of steps and maybe that's kind of confusing, but honestly, there's a checklist that they give for you. And as you upload your documents and stuff, it ticks it off or you can check it off. And um, it's really easy to keep yourself organized. Um, so don't be intimidated by that is, I guess, basically what I'm saying. But um, that's about it. Uh, like Doris said, um, you can uh, talk to me or if I seem like a terrible person, you can talk to someone else <laughs> that's a student ambassador. And all the, the faculty here also are pretty receptive at the, the marketing office and the communications office. So give us a shout out and uh, hopefully see you around uh, next semester. Now back to Doris, I think. Yes, bye. <laughs> so if you would like to ask uh, more questions from Sam, then uh, as he said, you can write to him. You can find his contacts at uh, tlu.de ambassadors. Uh, and last but not least, uh, what I suggest you to do uh, is to follow us in social media so you can keep up with our uh, latest doings. You can find us in uh, Facebook when you type in Value University. Uh, you can also find us in Ve Contactia, in Instagram, in Twitter, in YouTube, in Traugem, that's for Latvians, and in LinkedIn also. So in case you have any uh, specific questions about the admission procedure, uh, I suggest you write to directly our, to our admission specialists at admissions at tlu.e. But uh, meanwhile, you can go to our webpage and read more about the programs from there at tlu.e.